Hi hey guys, very welcome to all of you. Welcome to the video number 515. My name is Ajay Pramar and you're watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pramar and on this channel you'll find 515 videos including this one on Excel, Excel VBA, Access and Access VBA, right? And we have the videos on the basic, intermediate, advanced and super advanced level. So you'll find everything, you'll find the different different case studies because when I started this channel, I uh, I had an aim in my mind, which is to make everybody awesome in all these four subjects. So today, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a very small code, but then we will continue with this. As you can see, this is the part one. So we are going to actually see that how you can open the out, uh, you know, the Excel application from the Outlook, right? Now, in my all the videos so far, uh, I think I haven't talked about really how to open the Excel from the other applications, right? We covered the lot of uh, the playlist. For example, if you uh, go and uh, see this, uh, you know, in the Excel VBA category, we have Excel VBA access uh, connecting MS Word with the Excel, connecting MS Access with Excel, connecting PowerPoint with Excel, and then connecting Outlook as well with the Excel. So there we controlled the all the external applications from Excel. But in this case, we are going to control the Excel from the Outlook application. So this is going to be very interesting. And just 10 seconds, this is the playlist sequence. Many of you keep on writing me how to start, you know, the learning. If you want to learn this uh, on this channel, uh, Excel, Excel VBA Access or Access VBA, this is the playlist sequence, guys. You must pause the video and you can note it down. This is all the playlist sequence which you should follow, right? They, there would be around 48, 49 playlists uh, if you just go and count all these so you can watch in the sequence, right? So I wish you best of luck. Now let's talk about the today's topic, right? So I'm going to open actually my Outlook, first of all. So there I have my Outlook opened, as you can see, right? Now what we want to do is we want to go in the developer tab of this Outlook. If you don't see this option, um, you need to click on the file and then options. Uh, this is exactly, you know, this works the same way as it works in Excel, right? So you go to this, um, the option called, uh, I think the customized ribbon, make sure your this developer tab should be activated, right? By default, it remains unchecked if you never ever programmed anything in the Outlook VBA, right? So just make sure it should be check marked. And once you click on there, you would see this developer tab immediately. Right. So we have this developer tab. Now it is very interesting to go to this visual basic. Now this is actually guys the outlook window for the VBA right now. So far you you have seen the uh, Excel VBA window. This is the first time I'm showing the outlook. Uh, you know this VBA window. Now you look at this. This is called the this outlook session. If you remember if you know the Excel VBA then you know there we get actually to see this workbook. Right. So, and that makes a sense also, guys, because uh, you're working in the Excel. So obviously you don't have that, you know, you have a different object to that in, in, uh, in Excel. You have the worksheets, workbooks, cells, you know, but in Outlook, you don't have sort of those things. So you will definitely find, uh, you know, variations. You will find some changes in the VB editor. Right. However, the main functioning part remains the same. For example, you go to this, uh, you have the project explorer with the same shortcut. You have the property windows and then, you know, you have the local windows, watch windows, object browser. So these are all things, you know, that they, they remain same. Right. So the layout is absolutely the same. It's just that the biggest of the different object hierarchy. We will see some different changes here. Now, what we need to do here is um, I, I'm not going to talk about the Outlook session. We will talk about the module. So we will go in the module. And by the way, if you do not know how to insert the module, just go in, in the insert and click on this module, right? Now, this is the advanced level VBA. So obviously, I expect you guys know all these things, right? I mentioned this in my PowerPoint slide also that the level is the advanced, right? So now here, what we are supposed to do. Now, I'm going uh, uh, to educate you how to actually open the Excel from here. Right now, obviously, this is going to be a very short code. Uh, but the, remember, guys, if you know how to open the Excel from the Outlook, right, then that means you can fully control the Excel from the Outlook, right? You can import the things like uh, send a name, send an email address, um, and a lot of other things in the message box, so the subject line, you know, whatever it, you want to export, right? And there, there must be some other, um, you know, uh, um, task also which you can achieve, but provided you should know actually how to open the Excel, because if you cannot uh, uh, get the Excel open, how will you do all these tasks, right? Well, I will talk about all this in my next video. Uh, but let's talk about first of all in this video that how to open the Excel. Now guys, uh, because we are writing the program in the Outlook, 
right and you always know that if you if you are if you're not new to the channel if you have watched my couple of playlists like uh, let me specifically talk about this connecting outlook with excel then you know that what we do we always go in the tools and the reference here in the tool and the reference and we always uh, you know get the outlook library activated now in this case because you are already on the outlook library so you don't have to do anything this microsoft outlook 16.0 object library will be activated for you now this is the default library guys remember when you open the excel vbay you see here microsoft excel 16.0 well i'm using six, uh, office 2016 so that's why 16.0 uh, if you are using any other version you see the different number but that doesn't matter right now what i have done special here is the additional thing which i have done is i actually have made this microsoft excel 16.0 object library activated right by default your library remains like this now the first time when you open the excel uh, uh, sorry the outlook after watching this video and you go to the tools and the reference you see that here you get to see the microsoft outlook 16.0 now you need to make sure that you should go on the microsoft excel so i just go and press m m m and these are all alphabetically sorted library so somewhere here above this microsoft external item picker i should see that my my excel 16.0 library there we go right now i'm just going to check mark that and i click ok and you come back here guys you click on the reference and make sure the library should be activated so we have the library activated right now why we are doing this obviously let me repeat that because i want to open the excel application now your next question comes why would i be interested in opening the excel application well if you want to control the excel from the outlook you can do that right now we are not going to talk about the controlling part for that you watch my next video which i'm going to upload after this but in this video we are specifically talking how we can actually open the excel okay so once you have this 16.0 uh, microsoft excel actually the object library activated just click ok and now we're gonna write here a uh, you know couple of lines to open the excel so the first thing which i will do is i'll just create a macro sub so let's say i say that open excel okay now remember this is i'm writing this in outlook vba window guys don't want to write this in the excel okay so the first thing which i will do is i will declare any object any object means let's say i declare the name called xl as excel dot application right now this is exactly we do in the excel we write dim o as outlook dot application because there we control the outlook from the excel but here we are doing the controlling the excel from the outlook so this is the only the difference right i hope it, it's making sense to you now we are going to create a new instance of application so these are the standard lines right so we're going to create the new excel object here so that is what i'm going to write here set excel equals to excel new excel dot application now when you run these two lines what will happen excel executable file will be activated which is going to actually you know make the the uh the base you know for for the the platform for the excel uh, workbooks to get open right so the next line which you can write is you can make that visible so i'm just going to make that visible so i just write here true right once you have made that excel visible then from there you can actually open any excel file guys right so how do, how do we open the uh, excel files if if let us say you are supposed to write this program in the excel vba give it a thought what are you going to do if you if you are writing a code in excel vba and you have to open the excel vba uh, you have to open the excel file then what will you write you write workbooks dot open isn't it and then you open the workbook so that means if i just go and write here workbooks dot open look at this guys this is going to come automatically now why this is coming obviously because excel is excel i mean this excel is your excel application so once you have created that excel object right which is your excel application that means using that excel dot you can access all the objects of your you know excel vba hierarchy so this is what i'm gonna write open and then you're gonna write the path you can write any path so i just go and let's say i just open this employee details i right click here and i make sure that i should be in the properties right click and go to the property and security and just trying to copy this so i copy the entire path from here so i go and paste it here in the double quotes i'm going to write it like this right now when you run this let us see what's going to happen so i go and 
run this f8 there we go so excel application is created right it's taking a little time also you can see that the object is being created once the object is created let's make it visible i again run it and you see in the background there is a blank layout of excel which is open right now this is just a blank excel you see the ribbon is it's totally freezed i cannot access any 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 of the ribbon commands here right because this is just a layout but using this excel layout i'm just going to open my employee details dot xlsx existing file which is on my desktop so let's go and see that so i run f8 now guys once i am done with that you see my excel is actually opened right now in the next video what i'm going to do is after getting this opened maybe here in any of the excel sheet we are going to export all the outlook information which is coming in your inbox like the sender name sender email address maybe the subject line all that you know the sort of stuff we are going to discuss right so this is a small code and i hope you enjoyed this video i am now going to see you in the next video so if you have watched this video you must watch the my next upcoming video as well thank you so much for watching guys and as usual i know you're going to subscribe to the channel so i'll see you soon in my next video bye bye